Hey everybody, Joel, Moose Droppings by ImportSauce.com. Today I just uh, want to show you a little bit about Volvo air conditioning clutch shims. Uh, this is found and this setup is on, on most Volvos, every one that I own. Um, so uh, we're going to show you uh, most commonly what it is when your AC is working intermittently. So uh, this will apply probably to your Volvo as well. Stick around. Okay, we uh, have this issue with the uh, V70 2008. Uh, this is the uh, straight six, uh, 3.2, but it is uh, exactly the same on the uh, S40 over there, same on our XC60. A um, little bit different here. We're not outlining how we got to this step. Um, we're just kind of showing you the shims in general. Uh, this was a complete nightmare on the S40, you, uh, or any P1, jack it up, pull the passenger tire, and your AC, uh, compressor is right there. Um, very easy. On this, uh, the, the six cylinders, the belt assembly is on the inside of all of the accessory drive. So you have to take off so much crap to get in there and not have much room. Anyways, uh, here is our AC compressor with its pulley, which is driven off of the uh, belt drive, serpentine drip belt drive there. Uh, and this is the front, right? Um, and here is the faceplate. So uh, if you have to go even further and maybe electronically, the uh, clutch, electromagnetic clutch is not working. Uh, same procedure on uh, P1s, P2s, probably P3s as well. Um, you're gonna be replacing this whole unit. In this situation, we are just shimming the faceplate. So basically how it works is you have this faceplate which uh, bolts onto here. And inside of here, you will have a set of shims. And here's the two that were in there. Typically, there's more, um, and we, uh, I am assuming this has been done before, probably because there's some witness marks on here that somebody has been trying to pry the faceplate off. So what happens is uh, when your car and vehicle is running, this pulley is spinning freely. The uh, electromagnetic clutch inside is not engaged. So off the belt, it's just spinning all day long. Right? And... Uh, there's a giant magnet in there, electromagnetic. So when you push the AC button, it will uh, send juice to that magnet. And what happens is that magnet will poop, pull this faceplate on. And then that tension or that sandwich then engages that uh, now the inside uh, here is spinning as well. And then that is what uh, splines all the way down and uh, makes your AC uh, compressor go. So what happens is if you have intermittent um, AC, it's working great. Hey, the car's warm. It works great. The car's cold. Whatever the symptoms is, it can it can vary. Um, on the XC60 right now, it happens where as long as we're moving, um, it works. And if we come to like a red light then um, for whatever reason, less tension on the drive belt um, because the pulley's only running at idle, <coughs> the AC will stop. As soon as we uh, get on the gas and get our RPMs up, then it uh, kind of re-engages there. So over time, just like uh, maybe a brake caliper or whatever, this uh, plate in there um, will start to wear out. You know, it, it's grabbing, it's letting go, it's grabbing, it's letting go. Just like a brake rotor, a uh, clutch disc on a manual, it wears out. And then as that wears out, the gap between this plate um, and that will uh, get wider and wider and wider. And uh, it has to be just close enough. And on most Volvos, it's anywhere between 0.4 uh, millimeter uh, to 0.6. Some uh, versions of the compressor will, will require 0.8. Um, and so what you do is, and this one especially uh, sucked too, 
because the faceplate is recessed under the uh, lip of the pulley in there. So there's a special uh, tool. What we did is we just got feeler gauges and we stuck it in to measure the outer part of here to the actual plate. Uh, and then we just measured that uh, distance with a, a micro. Um, and we are at like 0.6 something, right? Uh, and so uh, the shim kits from Volvo, and you can buy it. The shim kit comes with uh, like 10 shims and a new 10 millimeter bolt. And each one of these is a different uh, size. I uh, can't really see it in the picture, but we have a 0.5 and we have a 0.1, right? So what we're gonna do here is to get back in and spec and reduce the gap from this face plate to the inner um, clutch disc there is we are going to just pull out the 0.1. Um, it's gonna reduce it, uh, the gap, and that should uh, keep us a little bit closer. Um, after that, um, there's not much we can do. I mean, uh, I can look around. We may have it. Maybe I have a couple point ones, and I can just maybe get four of those, and then it'll put us at the bottom end of the spec. And then at that point, um, you know, it may last a little longer. We're going to put it back together. If this doesn't work, or if for some reason you are watching, uh, here's how you test it. You turn on the car. Everything is uh, spinning except for your faceplate. Your faceplate is stationary. Turn the AC button on, come back out and look, and when the AC button's on, this should be locked in and spinning with that. Um, and that's what activates the AC uh, compressor. If that is not going, if you're not hearing a click, if you're not hearing uh, or seeing that, then it is probably the actual electromagnetic uh, clutch that's in there um, is just burnt out. So easily enough, you're gonna take this all off and then you're gonna pull the faceplate. Uh, there is a snap ring in there, you pull that, and then the whole pulley system comes off inside of the pulley. Um, I don't know if we can see it, uh, not really. Uh, there's an, a, an inner part that slides off. And you're gonna swap that out and you can even see uh, our little wire right there that goes in there to feed that. Um, you're gonna see uh, all that come off, slip it back on, plug the new one back in, check that you're starting off with the proper uh, shim gap. You wanna start at the bottom end because as it wears out, it will uh, continue to stay within spec until it finally eventually gets out. Um, and then uh, at that point, um, you know, in, in most cases, it's going to be the gap. Um, we did that on the S40 years and years ago. Uh, just pulled some shims out and it has worked beautiful ever since. Um, on this one, it looks a little rough. Uh, we're going to try this and hopefully... Um, at that point, we will uh, be okay. And if not, then we will be looking at ordering the um, the whole kit. The problem with uh, this version of the car is uh, they don't have any aftermarket uh, reliable um, kits for this. Uh, on the P1, I think we were able to get uh, a kit for like 80 bucks on eBay. You know, this kit, there's one aftermarket kit on eBay. It's 100 bucks, but it's it's like in Germany, right? And it's a no-name brand. Um, the genuine Volvo one here is only 250. It's not terrible, um, but you know if you can do this yourself, uh, 250 uh, and uh, half a day's worth of work is better than paying the dealer probably, you know, a thousand plus, um, you know, and then the part as well. So uh, hopefully that helps. It gives you an understanding of the shimming, uh, the AC electromagnetic clutch on Volvos. Thanks for watching.